Every time I progress in the YouTube Battle Pass, a new Alpha Male gets unlocked, and you know we have to make a video about them. You see, goofing on Alpha Males is a special talent of mine, usually because they're uneducated, walking balls of cringe that lack any form of self-awareness, so I'm able to pick apart their pseudoscience like a goddamn surgeon, or just laugh at the absurdity of what they're trying to say. I find it really ironic whenever dudes constantly talk shit about girls who are into astrology, meanwhile they're the same men who repost stock images of wolves on their Instagram stories with the latest and greatest Sigma male quotes. The guys who subscribe to these made-up ideologies are usually so detached from reality, it would be a waste of everyone's time if you tried to argue, rationalize, or even just sit down and listen to what they have to say, because they're way too far gone. These are the exact same dudes who look up tutorials on YouTube on how to sleep with more women, how long they should wait in between sending text messages to increase their chances of getting laid, and they throw money at self-help gurus like they're goddamn strippers at a nightclub. I see right through their ultra machismo that they grasp onto like the fucking golden snitch in Harry Potter or the oddball in Halo. If someone or something questions their fragile masculinity that they try so hard to hide from the world, they shatter like a Christmas ornament being spiked at a concrete wall. The supreme douche nozzle that we're covering today creates imaginary fights with invisible people. It is truly a spectacle to behold, and I think a lot of psychologists and psychiatrists will have a field day watching this video. In between his misogynistic troglodyte rants, he'll tell you about how much pussy he slays and how much money he makes. But don't worry boys, you too can be as cool as him if you buy his program for $49, join what he calls the war room, and enroll in Hustlers University. <laughs> You can't fucking make this up. Hustlers University. <laughs> the first video we're gonna watch is called Girls That Are Baffled By Cheating. I'm warning you guys, I don't think we've reached this level of cringe yet. I'm getting more high tech with my intros, as you can see. So today's topic is girls who are baffled by cheating. Every day I scroll through Facebook, I, I'm looking for a particular post. I'm looking for those fucking bimbos. Who, whose man cheated on him. And instead of sitting there like a good woman, looking in the mirror and saying, my tits are a little saggy and I don't listen enough, of course that's why he cheated. Instead they wanna go on Facebook and go, men are the enemy, men are pigs, why did he do it? I can't believe he did it, I'm so confused. What are you confused about, bitch? When's the last time you cooked him dinner? Who hurt this man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to like put that into words. He has a deep problem with women that is way too far beyond anyone's diagnosis. I don't know what to do in this situation. There is an absolute mad lad spewing bullshit on YouTube. <laughs> do you suck dick on demand? Yes or no? Come again? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you obey? This dude's out there every day fucking working and he comes home to hear bullshit from you. And then you are the only female on earth he's allowed to have sex with. And when he wants sex, you don't want it. So he has to go through his life sexlessly because you're a fucking frigid ass hoe. This man was either raised by a legitimate serial killer or he's a comedian doing one of the greatest bits of all time, and he's pushing the envelope of political correctness, except it's just flopping, and it's not funny. And you're confused he cheated? I don't understand why. I understand why. Because you're a fucking piece of shit. Oh, okay. Look after your man better, maybe he won't fucking cheat. In all cheating scenarios, 100% of the blame is always on the female. <laughs> the female? <laughs> Yo. These guys are the same. They are so cookie cutter. It's fucking baffling. <laughs> yeah, I said it. It's true. Because if you looked after your man properly, let me tell you something. Men are a lot more lazy than you give us credit for. We can't be bothered to go out there, find some bimbo, talk shit to her, take her for dinner, buy her some shit, listen to her opinions on fucking her favorite dog breed, and scroll, oh yeah, your Instagram filter, yeah, I'll take the picture. Men, we don't want to do none of that. Where did this come from? This man really woke up, put on a leather jacket, decided it would be a great idea to turn on his camera, and rant in his living room about a made-up scenario that nobody gives a flying fuck about. 
He's quite literally doing this to himself. This is already off the rails. Let me go to the comment section quick and see if anyone is, you know, sharing some dissenting opinions or maybe they're agreeing with him. In all cheating scenarios, 100% of the blame is always on the female. So true. 144 upvotes. One look at the comment section on this video and it tells me that YouTube has an actual problem with the radicalization of toxic men. These incels burrow into these rabbit holes and cuddle with each other, just bad asking in their misogyny, it's disgusting. The only logical explanation that I could possibly think of that definitely doesn't even scratch the surface to describe this man's attitude is that he was probably cheated on and then he internalized all that hate and this is the result. If your man's cheating, it's because you ain't looking after him right. So stop the confusion, stop being baffled. I'm telling you right now why he did it. So you can stop going on Facebook with all these other dickhead girls, but oh, I know, I can't believe it, my man cheated too. Because you're all low quality pieces of shit. A popular thing within the manosphere is to ascribe value to people. It is the cringiest, dumbest shit I've ever heard. They often sound like actual children too. Uh, I'm a high value male. I don't fuck with low value bitches. Like get a grip, you haven't touched grass in 30 years, you adopted a boomer mentality from 700 BC where you think it's okay to sling girls over your shoulder like a fucking caveman and that they should answer to your every beck and call. Get out of here with this fucking stupidity, please. Fucking look after yourselves. When was the last time you put some makeup on? Do some burpees. You got fucking gut. Sort yourself out. So you can end that confusion bullshit. While we're on subject of cheating, if your man does cheat, the most stupid thing you can do is leave him. Nope, it's confirmed. He was cheated on probably about a thousand times. And I wonder why. I wonder. You're going to leave the man you love. The man you were head over heels in love with. You're going to leave him and find another man who you don't love, who's still gonna cheat on you because you're still a trash bitch. What's the point in that? At least keep the love going. Why? If you're gonna get cheated on, at least get cheated on by a man you love, not a man you half like. Dude, those couches are sick. They're so manly. <laughs> so fucking ugly. I half life like this dude. He's banging my fucking best friend. At least oh, I love him. He cheats on me, but I love him and I stick by him anyway. Now you're starting to fucking sound like a real woman. Sort your shit out. Get a fucking manicure. Stop typing on Facebook, bullshit. Yeah, stop typing on Facebook. Instead, watch my manic episode on YouTube while I preach to an army of smooth brain goblins. So yeah, that's who we're dealing with today. And the next video is called The Biggest Mistake Rich Men Make With Girls. <laughs>
You guys aren't real G's, so you don't know. I'll tell you what happens when you're a real G. This man just said, we're not real G's. This is what happens when you're a real G. Coming at you, right? Beautiful women work for me and make me millions of dollars. They obey me because they love me. They clean my house and make me coffee and get naked on demand. That's how I make over 300K a month. You end up with all these chicks, right? And when you have all these chicks, they're obviously fall in love with you instantly. And they fall in love with- The girls are rich, I am rich. The girls sit on a computer and make huge amounts of cash. No man touches them except me. Yeah. Cool. Sick. You completely, and they comply blindly. They listen to you. Why wouldn't they listen to you? You're the best thing they could possibly ever get. Of course they listen. And what happens also when you're a real G is that you're here, you're there, you're everywhere. You're making moves, you're making money. You gotta go to Poland, you gotta go to Warsaw, fucking Dubai. Miami, anyone who watches Take Confidential knows. I'm all over the place. Yeah, you really signed up for the Mr. Worldwide starter pack, didn't you? Jesus Christ. Pitbull wants his M.O. back. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. Like, oh, Tate's away, so they go out with their friends. No, 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 no. What? They're not allowed out. Anyone want to, uh... Hey, look into this guy. <laughs> Just holding people against their will. You're not allowed out while daddy's gone. I don't know what kind of bitch-ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. There's no other way to put this lightly. This man is a walking butt pussy. So because they have all these chicks sitting in their houses and they're bored and I'm going here, there, and everything. This man gets a massive hit of copium every time he walks about in his backyard and sees his last name plastered on the wall. Oh, just farting into his own hand and smelling it. Get a grip. Sooner or later, it's a full circle. They say, well, Andrew, they text it. They text a nice long text. And they say it in a way like, I'm going to be pleased with what I read. That's what's actually amazing. They say, hey, I've got a great idea, heart, heart. I'm like, what, bitch? No, seriously, this is such a good idea. I'm like, what, bitch? She's like, well, you're always busy working, so why don't I start a business too so that I'm not bored while you're away and we can make more money? Like, I'm going to, and they expect me to go, yay, yeah, great. No, I don't need you. One, I don't even need women to make money. Why would I want you making money? What the fuck? <laughs> what does that even mean? Why do I need you making money? I'm lost. Who are you fighting with? <laughs> I have so much money. What I want you to do is just be pleasant and smile and comply and obey. I want you to be happy all the time. The last thing I want you doing is fucking making money because we don't need any money. Man, I am way in above my pay grade. Like, I'm a YouTube commentator bringing this to light. I need a neurosurgeon, a psychiatrist, a psychologist to really sit down with me and unpack all of this because I am starting to lose critical amounts of brain cells. But worse than all that, you want me to pay to start your business. That's what this real thing is. Every single fucking time. And the worst thing is women believe in all the crap they see about business online, right? Like follow your passions. If you really believe in your passion, then you'll make money, which is not even true. That's the worst business advice ever. He's getting so mad at a situation that has never happened. He's making this up all in his head as he goes along. He's quite literally self-destructing before our eyes. He's scrambling for words. Nothing that he's saying is coherent. I don't need money. I'm the bald millionaire. What? Sit there and obey me. Like, <laughs> I'm stunned. Anyone out here who's actually made any real money knows sometimes you gotta do shit you don't wanna do to get paid. So this whole passion thing is garbage. If you still believe that, then you should fucking quit business completely. So because women believe this junk, then they come at you with one of their passions. And usually, around about 99% of the time, and I'd know because I've had this exact conversation probably around 100 times with 100 different women, and 99 of them said the same thing. One of them said pet grooming. This man is so deep into like incel dumb that he doesn't even know it. He's having these semen-induced fever dream fights with himself. Where are these generalizations and thoughts even coming from? Where do they stem from? <laughs> the other 99 said, beauty salon. I want to open a beauty salon. 
Why do you want to open a beauty salon? Oh, because, you know, I really like makeup and I'm really good at makeup and I watch these things on YouTube about makeup and my friend Claire is really good at makeup and I know all these girls who need their makeup done and it's really hard to get your makeup done properly and I will be the place you can get your makeup done properly. And it's going to become called Beauty Elysium and everyone's going to come and they're going to get their makeup done and it's going to be a big successful business. So I just need you to rent me a building and put Gucci sofas in and get me a nice sexy sign and cover the whole place in flowers and spend all your money so that I can at 1145 crawl out of bed with a fucking cappuccino and walk in there with my hair fucking curled like a CEO in a little girl suit and look around at all my customers and all the money I'm making and have them do my makeup and then I'll go off for lunch at two o'clock and we'll be millionaires. It's okay. This is a safe space. You can talk to us. What are you going through? Really, sit down, have a chat. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. You know, women don't have a clue how fucking business works. That wouldn't ever work. Dude, just say it, okay? I hate women and I have a micro penis. It's okay. It's okay. This is a safe space. They should show this video as like a beware of these dudes in every high school, every college, and every job that you get. Just beware, stay away, don't do this, don't become this guy. But this is how it works in their mind. In their mind, they're gonna have this little cute beauty shop, and they're gonna go there for like 20 minutes, and they're gonna fuck about, and everyone's gonna be laughing, it's all gonna be funny, ha ha ha, big jokes, it's gonna be like Sex in the City episode, and money's gonna come from the sky. They don't anticipate the fact that every single organization that is primarily run by females is just a fucking bitch fest anyway. The staff are gonna hate you, bitch. The staff are gonna hate each other. The staff are gonna start stealing customers behind your back because you're never there. The staff who's, the actual members of staff who are doing the actual work, the fucking makeup, are gonna be like, you know what? That bitch never even comes into her own business. Fuck this. Hey, customer, I could do the exact same thing at your house cheaper at 7 p.m. tonight. You're going to get famoosed. You're going to get famoosed. Taxes. You're going to do the taxes? Yeah. Women are incapable of performing any cognitive tasks. They have to sit there, look pretty, suck wiener, and just answer to every man's beck and call. Yep. That's how it works. I didn't make the rules. Dude, this is who I'm learning it from. What about the fucking fire code? Where's the fire extinguisher gonna go, bitch? Oh, you know all about the fucking Gucci sofas. What about the fire extinguishers? It is fucking garbage. And they're looking for your money to pay for it so they can put their fucking name on it. Who? Who is looking for my money to do this? <laughs> Present them. Really? Is this such a common thing? Do you guys relate? What is he on about? Beauty Elysium by Claire. Claire. Shut up, Claire. You swallow muck. Claire, you literally swallow muck. What the fuck do you know about business? Be quiet. Ah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Worst thing about all of this is every single time the bitch comes to me with this shit, I obviously say no, because it's never going to make money. You think it's going to be some dream because you don't understand business. It's going to be stress. It's going to be headache. No. The worst thing is, though, I know a lot of millionaires who say yes. And I've had to stop talking to guys because they agreed to open a business for their chick. Now, I know you normies are sitting here going, what? You're going to stop talking to your friend because he opens a business with his wife? This is my favorite part of the entire video. I don't think you guys are ready. This takes a weird, wacky turn. What you guys are about to hear is the most neurotic, hilarious thing that this man has convinced himself his daily life consists of. I think this is like a window into his brain on how he thinks. Get ready for this. Now, you normalos, you normal little peons, you worms, you peasants, you don't understand why I would do something like that, but I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay. I'm all ears. If I'm at a table for dinner and I'm with my friend, I expect us both to be perspicacious, high alert. Okay. <laughs> perspicacious, high alert, locked in. Perhaps someone's going to approach me from behind with a machete with murderous intent. <laughs> no. Oh my fucking God. 
Perhaps somebody is going to come up behind me, put me in a sleeper hold, stab me in the neck with a machete with murderous intent. I need my fellow entrepreneur, alpha male, bald best friend to be there for me. You're going out to dinner, my fucking guy. Wh what the fuck? And I want my friend to warn me. Just, just eating dinner casually, nice Italian restaurant. Hey, excuse me, a uh, bald fuck? Somebody standing behind you with a chainsaw? Yeah, murderous intent. <laughs> I want him to notice and tell me so I can activate the Aikido and disarm the assailant. No, 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 no. This, this is a bit. This is not real. This guy, this is a skit. This is his theater class thesis. He's going to activate the Wuju style Aikido. Fucking disarm the assailant. <laughs> from the henchmen that are out to get him while he's eating dinner. <laughs> In public. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't want is my friend too busy typing on his phone arguing with his wife over some bullshit business he should have never fucking started to not pay enough attention to protect me. I roll with guys who are switched on. No, you don't. You just roll with guys. That's about it. You hate women. <laughs> Every single one of you knows those dudes were sitting there just texting away, arguing with some bitch, not paying attention to the outside world. Yeah, in a minute, in a minute. Fuck you, bitch. I ain't got time for that. I don't want it around me. Do you understand? So when a guy says, oh, I'm gonna open my wife a beauty salon, I can just stop being his friend. Cause I know he is no longer perspicacious, he's no longer combat ready, cause he's gonna end up arguing with that bitch over that fucking salon. Dude, it's the worst when my friends are not combat ready. Fuck. And they argue because the dude forks up two million, he builds the sign, Beauty Elysium by Claire. They have the opening party with the free champagne. That costs fucking 25 Gs. All her friends come. Her friends ain't gonna pay her to do makeup. They're her friends. Boys, men will pay their friend in their friend's business because we understand how business works. Girls won't. Girls will go, well, I've known Claire forever. She should do me for free. So all her friends want to be done for free anyway. So all her friends are sitting there drinking champagne. They're not even fucking customers. Claire realizes, oh, I don't have any business. I'm sitting here all day bored. This is bullshit. I want to go to lunch, disappears on long lunch breaks. And about a th three weeks later, the place is barely functioning. You just spent two million. Three weeks later, it's limping along. As a fellow rich man, whenever I spend two million dollars on one of my concubines businesses, I make sure to get a nice ROI. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And my friend is sitting there on the phone to his fucking bitch. Why aren't we open? I spent two million. It's Wednesday afternoon and the place is closed. And Claire's like, well, Anna couldn't make it in because her kid was sick and I have a migraine. What do you want me to do about it? Dude, this is impressive. He's still going. He's still rambling about an imaginary story with fake people that didn't happen, arguing with himself. <laughs> it's quite literally the definition of insanity. Bitch, I gave you two million. Now you want me to go to fucking work because of a migraine? I got punched in the face. I had 87 professional kickboxing matches. You want to talk about fucking headaches, you dumb hoe? It all makes sense now. This man was kicked in the head one too many times. Now he can't complete a full sentence or finish an abstract thought, let alone end a story. As a result of this, we have a shiny, bald, angry incel going on crazy rants in his backyard to his sad demographic of sheep. I already know that this sad excuse of a man cuddles up with all of his dumb followers and they all just cry themselves to sleep at night. <laughs> In the war room. 